if there's a strong statement I want to make or breakout strategy, I'm going to tell you here in this video that I really hated the breakout strategy. Now, if you had traded into the recent SEMCOP industry and you know that why I hated that and why people lost money from breakout strategy. Now, what happened to SEMCOP industry was that it reported earnings on the 4th of August. Well, it had fantastic earnings for the first half, but it also warned of a global impact. Now, what happened to the share price? It went up long long bar and then after that it start to plunge this to me it's all a trap and that's very clear a washer means this is the chart of samcop industry the day after its earning and what we saw is a long long bar price bar there was a huge surge in price i mean how much was that surge in price the low was about 560 and the high was about 609. So it means that on that very day, it went up almost like 49 cents. It closed right at the high. Now, of course that um, this is a breakout bar. And as I said, right, I really hate a breakout. Now, there are a few things on this breakout bar that met the textbook example. For example, on this breakout, there was a increase in volume. We saw that. And there was a huge surge in price. And the price breakout of the resistance, uh, yes, it did because the gray line here was a, a resistance because that's given by a previous high. So price breakout of the previous high. Now imagine that you bought in, let's say for example, the resistance price was around 580 and and maybe you saw that it, it broke out and you, you bought in, right? Because of the good earnings and you bought in, let's say, at an average price of $6. Well, you think that $6 could go higher to 7 or to $8, right? Okay, so, and, and you check the textbook and everything all met. It had a huge volume, it had the uh, long bar, and it broke out of the resistance level quite significantly. So you are very happy. Now, let's replay to see what happened, okay? Bear in mind that you bought in at about $6. This is subsequently what happened, okay? Price went down. So you bought in at the average price of $6 and right now it's trading at $5.67. I say, oops, what happened? Whoever who bought in, right? Let's say they bought in at this price here and they bought in at this price here and this price here, right? Whoever who bought in above the $5.80, for example, at an average price of $6, when they see that price is right now at $5.67, what happened? Their position will be in a loss. Now, when this position resulted in a loss, there's only one thing, right? You are scared, right? Because then there are two things that happen here. One, because of a breakout, you actually bought at a high. Second, right now, whatever that you bought are, are faced with few forces here. Number one, don't forget what happened to Sam Corp, right? Sam Corp, if you take a look at the history, had been going up all the way from an average price of 170 170 plus minus 180 around here straight up all the way to 580 to the high of six dollars now if you bought in at six dollars this also means that there are some group of people who bought in let's say at maybe 180 at two dollars at three dollars at four dollars or even at five dollars right when they go to six dollars they are taking profit there are three groups of people here one people who bought in at the earlier price as i said they are taking profit after they see that price cannot sustain the high price second there will be people who think that price is very high because it moved up from 180 all the way to six dollars they are going to short the market what's the meaning of short short means that you don't have anything but you can use a derivative or you can just naked sell because you think that it is very high now the third group of people would be who bought in at $6 or even on the day of the breakout. Now, this group of people will be panicking. They will be like ants, you know, trying to get out of boiling water. Okay. And then what will, we, will they do? They will be in an attempt to cut loss. Now, imagine that if you look look at the historical price of SEMCOP, right? Price was at the low of 180 or even it went to the low of 80 cents. When, 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 let's say, let's say the low of 80 cents as a reference and you bought at 180, yes, although it is 
high, but at least you are closer to 80 cents. But if you look at, for example, a low of 80 cents or even low of $1 and you bought at $6, you are 600% away from the base price or the lowest price seen. Of course, naturally, you will be worried. Okay, so this is what is happening right now to Sam Corp. Now, after price had a fake breakout, which I call this as a wash. So this would be your wash bar here. And then when price entered back into the resistance and as well as if price is to break below the wash line. So this is the wash line, which of course it hasn't broken yet. But if price is to break below that, then a genuine wash and rinse will happen. Okay, think in terms of the behavior you bought. So people bought at six, and right now the price is at five sixty-seven. Okay, so let's continue to roll the price, and we see what's happening right now. Now, right now, price is trading at five twenty-seven at this moment that I'm doing the recording. Of course, those people who bought at an average of six dollars will not be very happy because right now they are faced with an immediate loss. So you can see there are three forces which are interacting here: people who bought high and they are looking to stop out. Now, second will be people who genuinely think that it's very high. They are shorting the market. Third, people who are taking profit. Now, even though these three group of people have different objectives, but their common action is to sell. That's the common action that they are going to do. So if you look at this, then it doesn't speak very well for SamCorp. Right, okay. Now, a few things to take note of, of course, that uh, there will be some support levels that we have to take note. So these would be the key support level here, which I'm marking in at about $5. So that's about $5 or $5.10. But even when it comes into the support, even if it might rebound, be careful. The trend of SamCorp industry because of this consolidation here isn't that strong anymore because previously it was moving in a very strong uptrend with a very clear defined highs and a retracement, high retracement, high retracement, high retracement, high retracement. But during this current formation here, the pattern went into a little bit of a consolidation, more of what I term as a distribution pattern. It definitely needs to correct a little bit bit more before it can gather more momentum to move up again okay now there are various support levels i've only marked in the most recent one i think that um it we have to look at what happened subsequently to decide more support level it is not in that strong uptrending state already